Welcome to your energy check-in. As you guys know, these readings are timeless and they're signless. So that means that you neither have to actually have Aquarius in your natal chart, nor do you actually need to be watching this video at the time that it's made, which is about April 2021, okay? These readings tend to last, generally speaking, about 30 days, but please, 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 you should always check back because for whatever reason, I find that the messages that come through my readings tend to unfold over time. Okay, let me shift a little closer. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, please do feel free to reach out. You can find my Etsy link somewhere on the page. And without further ado, let's go. Oh, wow. Ready already. Okay, so Aquarius, um, I just want to let you guys know that uh, if this reading is for you, I'm definitely getting some innovative energies. It feels like um, for you, it's almost like you, I don't want to call it a lucky break, but it kind of feels like somebody um, may get the ball rolling in some way or bring you some type of information or something to that effect where there's somebody else involved and somehow you get privy to some kind of information that uh, is going to feel like it falls in your lap. Speaking of falling in your lap, let's go ahead and put this there. It's something that falls in your lap and I'm getting that it's something that you would have otherwise totally ignored or totally missed. Um, so I do suggest that when this thing falls in your lap for someone here, it's, a, it's an actual car, by the way, I'm feeling that, but it could also be information, right? When this uh, thing falls in your lap, please do make sure to have gratitude because I do feel a little bit Aquarius as though there will be some, uh, I don't want to say lack of gratitude, but there's a little bit, yeah, they're saying complacency. It's almost like it falls in your lap, but you don't see it that way because of sometimes how seamlessly it fell in there. You may think, oh, okay, well, I found this. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> so um, whatever this is, be it information or something else. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing also to watch, yeah, watch the humility as well, because I'm getting an energy like you may be in this space in time where, now listen to this, you're going to be at a place in time or space in time where there seems to be like a string of things that you've just done well. Like, like your things are just going to be going well for you in some ways where for some reason it just seems like, oh, I did that, I did that, I did that. And that's why you've become, oh yeah, that's why they think, that's why you've become complacent. Oh, see, spirit knows, complacent. And so much so that when this thing actually falls in your lap, there's going to be a little bit of a, um, a blind side that you'll have where you'll be like, oh, okay, well, I did that. Well, actually, you didn't do that. You just happen to be having a string of good luck where <laughs> you were doing really well and you were, you know, creating your destiny and whatever you'd like to say. And then this thing came in and you're like, see, thinking it's seamless, but actually it was introduced by someone else. And I'm also getting that it was introduced in a, by a shift of, um, how can I say it? I want to say the word meaning, a shift of meaning. Notice I'm saying, I'm not saying shift in meaning, which would be the, you know, the right preposition here, but they're saying that a shift of meaning. So, oh, got it. Okay. What is this? It Oh, oh two. <laughs> It almost feels like love cards here or something. Okay, this is what's happening. This is one of the storylines. The shift of meaning. See how this is like this? It feels like you have to let go of something. Could be a relationship, a connection, does not have to be. But somehow you let go of something and you you encounter something that boing, gives you a bit of a shift. It's like ding, ding. Like, um, what do you call this? Pin, pinball. Yeah, pinball. You know, like boop. All I think is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember those? Eleven, twelve. Dee, 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 dee. That's what I think of <laughs> when I think of um, pinballs. But anyway, the point is that it looks like you will be on a on a roll with some things. Things are going well. Then something drops in your lap, and I feel like there is some type of letting go. Like you may have already let go of something or somebody recently, but it seems a little bit in the distant immediate past or immediate distant past not the distant past but let's say in march right or earlier april and as you are letting whatever this thing is must have been very um very tough 
is what I'm getting could be a relationship actually because it's feeling surgical is what they're saying now of course they're saying surgical and they're choosing to say that because maybe somebody here may actually have had some type of procedure but actually it just feels like it was surgically done now remember that whatever happens in the non excuse me in the physical is a manifestation of what has already come to pass in the non-physical so i do feel that this was a rather quote-unquote surgical procedure that occurred for you in the non-physical i'm get as i'm saying that i'm feeling some of you um have a place that have a moment of recognition like oh yeah i do remember like having a dream one night one night where i was getting surgery done or i woke woke up and i feel like i was on a gurney somewhere but i'm also getting for some of you you may not even register it this is going to but if we look at it from a higher perspective it looks like a near miss there's some something that there's a little bit of an element of divine intervention but but also a near miss like dodging a bullet and not even recognizing it so wow i don't know what this is that you dodged but let's say for example just as an example let's say that there's somebody that you wanted to be with but somehow spirit closed the door on that and through that closing of the door and creating such a har harsh and very resounding it feels uh energetic closing which would feel very surgical for you because things were released <laughs> right some of you may actually have had some procedures done uh, like reiki or some other type of uh, energetic healing work and because of that it shifted you onto a different timeline or it saved you from something that would have been just atrocious um, but it's one of those things where wherever you are now it's almost like you're not going to be able to know what that thing is immediately maybe had you continued down that path and you got with somebody it could have altered your life in a huge way or they're about to go through something that then you'd get caught up in or or just who what or whatever or you could have just missed out on the actual love of your life or an actually um, beneficial thing for you just to kind of get caught in a cul-de-sac somewhere and no offense for anyone who actually lives in a cul-de-sac because we know cul-de-sacs are fun but you know another word for a cul-de-sac is a dead end now if you live there that's great but if you're trying to get somewhere and you turn down the wrong street and you will, you don't have that much time and um, trying to make a bridge before it closes and you end up going down the wrong street and you get caught in a cul-de-sac that could spell you know disaster if you're trying to get somewhere and you got to get over a bridge before it not closes before it opens right to let the ships pass so anyway long story short it looks like some divine intervention has stepped in and aquarius um i am seeing here that aquarius i'm seeing two stars coming in so it's almost like you thought that what you were going towards you may have thought that whatever it is that you were working towards, be it person, place, thing, or situation, was quote-unquote the one. The job, to end all jobs. The person, to end all relationships. The, you know, whatever. The home that I could die in. Whatever <laughs> it is, right? But I'm seeing that it actually was not. And it was booby-trapped all the way. It was a booby trap all the way. And it's all, and I would say, you know, me guys, I, with my limited perspective, I would say, yeah, 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 you missed this one, right? I would, no, you see, they keep saying you've missed it. Like they, they're seeing some success here, here. Whereas for me, from my perspective, by the way, I'm channeling. So that's why I can also comment because they're the ones running the reading, but I've got to comment. And from my perspective, what they're saying, I mean, for me, it's like, hey, it looks like, you know, you, you, you got, tripped up here and you you didn't you 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 got caught in the trap but the way they're saying it is that you missed it you missed the trap this and maybe this is yeah you missed um through divine intervention you you got away you dodged a bullet here and maybe from our perspective in, in human life we're like oh but i still fell for the words i still fell for you know sorry i still fell for a lot and but they're like no but from our from our line of sight, you actually are not going to end up in that place that we wanted you to avoid. So technically, you are doing okay. Now, it probably did not feel good. So if this reading is for you, you will know because even though you're, you may be having a string of good luck and a string of good things happening, I know 
that you must have had a hard time in in, in April and in, in March, okay, or you know, this month, earlier this month, or you know, last month, depending on when you're watching. So, um, but spirit, you also know if this is for you because there was an introduction of another element. See, it could be another person. So let's put this in a context that people can understand. Let's use love, for example, because I do know a lot of people are, are watching for love. Let's say that you really want this one person. You think this person is the one. This is, this is who you wanted. This is, look, this is my now what card. Oh, you gave me this person? Okay, so this is then, right? But actually it's like, um, no spirit did something they introduced some energetic stuff to to shift you out of place with this person to come in and literally scoop you up out of this out of this connection and it was painful in the physical i bet you it was painful in the physical because it's not something that you would have wanted to separate from which talks about attachment but they're like no we out we out right and of course it's going to be hard but somehow spirit also introduced somebody else let's say like a friend or or let's say another person that you're dating or a family member who steps up somebody that steps in to kind of give you positive reinforcement because maybe this person wasn't really doing much for you they weren't the, the reciprocity wasn't there but this person models what reciprocity actually looks like so they're the pinball right or or you're the ball and they're the ding 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 whatever <laughs> you know what i'm talking about and so it pivots you somewhere else entirely and look one two we've got two stars look here and i told you this felt a little bit like love so whatever this is this represents what you're w going towards what you've been redirected towards look at this makes sense yes karmic clearing reassurance of the golden light now let's talk about that now, I was wondering why they, I didn't mention it, but they were, when I said scoops you out, they gave me the image of um, kitty litter. You know how the, there's kitty litter and there's a little poo in there and then there's a little, um, sorry, you can tell I don't have cats <laughs> or pets, that, that little shovel or spatula that ha is slotted so you can just pick up the, the lump and then the sand falls through. That's what I got. The, picked you up but look at this card here as i'm feeling this oh, okay as i'm feeling this i gotta be honest guys you know me I, I i keep it 100 this is talking about an energy that was removed toxic energy and you receiving something but as and of course duh it means that hey you got rid of something there really you got rid of the toxic energy the template that was there and so of course the people places things and situations that were attached to that template or that energetic structure that was removed from you surgically are going to be whisked away as well they can no longer attach to anything it just doesn't <laughs> it's there's nothing there remember what happens in the physical must first be in the non-physical but as i'm seeing this i gotta be honest it feels like some of you may actually have a restoration of something here. Now, I, I, I don't, I, I'm, sh I'm kind of shocked, <laughs> to be honest, because I'm like, who this? <laughs> but I want to say, just being honest, the way it felt, it feels like this person that was, is the same as this person. It just feels that way a little bit. Not for everybody. I'm talking only for like a smattering of you. Um, it's like, look what happened to me, right? So this person gets a makeover, if you will. This person, they, they kind of see the light. Whoever this is, it's like they see the light. Something happened. Now, of course, this could be you, you seeing the light, but, but of course you see the light. But for somebody here, there's also going to be a restoration of this person. But for the rest of you, it is not that old person at all all they gone okay of course this is the realm of a personal reading to determine whether wh which category you fit into but if you had to choose one i would say to go ahead and think about you being the one where um uh 
this person is is gone and this is a new energy altogether but either way your process is going to be going one where you end up in a karmically clear debt free at least in terms of this lesson environment now i do see spirit intervening here again so here you are you might be in four of swords energy which is about rest here you are spirits like you just went through something chillax a little bit relax and just receive see how spirit is blocking everything else back here all those other stars and all that they don't want you to think about anything right now you relax you just be okay so some of you will know but as i'm saying that i was gonna say some of you will know who you are but as i'm saying that i'm feeling a lot of bubbling over there's a lot of excitement coming from you aquarius or whoever you are because i feel that you know it's almost like you know someone's coming in for you and you're like who is it who is it and literally i'm just feeling like bubbles rushing up my my esophagus and in my inner chest cavity it's just like a lot of cute pink bubbles just who is it i really want to know i just want to know i just want to know who is it who's it? who's my person where and it's just like that and it's just like pure excitement but it's gonna have to wait for a second while i take a sip here i do love my hot beverages okay but mine is getting cold as I talk. <laughs> so let's see. Family of light. But see how you didn't notice this, but they showed me how the face was covered for a second. They're saying whoever is coming in for you is going to, it's almost like whoever's coming in for you is going to be the embodiment of something that you met earlier. So let's say that, and, and sometimes, again, it's like the stream of energy, whatever or whoever that pivot is that came in to kind of show you, okay, this is the standard that you should be getting. You should be getting somebody who's invested. You should be getting, and again, if it's not a person, it could be a, a, a company. Yeah, you should be get. you were working here. They weren't even, you know, paying you on time. And then meanwhile, this job, this job hires you for a quick season and they're like paying you, you get um, good compensation, you get to canoodle with your new co-workers, everything. So there's a good feeling here. And then as you, you know, get clear and all of that, you receive, what are you, well, you're on rest now, but you receive, what do you receive? Something that, yeah, it doesn't look like it's ready yet, but I'm hearing ready made. It's something that's already made you don't have to go saving anybody you don't have to go teaching anyone um i'm wondering i want to know if they said you okay yeah you don't have to do any of this i'm getting this energy too that somebody who's always the one giving rides to somebody in their car they're like this time you get to get a ride you get a ride <laughs> is what they're saying so excuse me so if you're the one used to you know putting out so much energy and effort and and always picking people up always giving people stuff this time it's your time to receive and now the beautiful thing about this bridge energy person place thing or situation is that they introduced some positive el elements this is what you should be getting at the very least and that kind of helps form some new templates see how it's like right at her back it forms some new templates for you so guess what now you can look receive reassurance of the golden light now it's just about waiting for these things to manifest for you okay wow great energies all right oops all right <laughs> and there's the card remember i told you i felt like it's the love card would be here but it's the next one <laughs> it's the next one now at first when i was picking it like picking the card i was wondering it doesn't even want to go back in the pack okay all right i was wondering if i if it would be a card for over here but you know we're done with that phase right and then here's the new this is new love right for somebody it's you know the restoration but for the rest of you it's not it's new um but it's not even going here either it's, I don't know where this goes. So this tells me this is a new third party energy. When I say third party, it's something new from what is already on here. Ugh. It's funny because I just saw the letter J. So that must mean something for somebody. So, okay. So some of you are like, I'm a letter J, okay? I, <laughs> I don't know. But what I'm seeing here is an elevation of spirit. So somebody here is having an elevation and they're, you know, look at this 44, that's eight. 
And then look at this nine card right here. Wow, and I just moved it. It, it says 29, but they, they had it covered. Nine. So you know what this is telling me? Whoever the next partner in, if this is, if this reading is for you, whoever the next partner is, is going to be your partner. It's your person, but it feels a little flipped. So again, I'm kind of getting energies that it, for somebody here, it's the same person from the past. Please know that it does not have to be. In fact, for most of you, it will not be. It will be a brand new person altogether. But there's an energy of being flipped. So let's say if you were the one who was not receiving in the past, you're going to be attracting someone who is going to be received. I mean, it's going to be received. <laughs> Look at this. It's going to be giving to you. You're going to be received. And this person is going to be received by you. So you're going to be receiving. Now, they also remember to bring me back to what they said it's ready-made so if if you are the per one of those people one of those few people dear god dear god if you are one of those few people in fact i wouldn't even assume this is you unless you get a, a personal reading whether from me or someone else right but if you're one of those few people who this person that is coming in here is a restoration of a relationship from earlier then this person has made quite a journey, okay? They've made quite a journey. That is, an, that is an uptick. That's an upswing in energy. Just like I'm seeing you have had your own where you, you've had your comeuppance, your glow up, this person has already. But either way, whoever you are, you're coming into an elevated love is what I'm getting. Again, they're showing that they're not going to show who the person is. But if I had to hazard a guess, I would say you shouldn't try to guess. Haha, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and the reason why is because um, you're still in the middle of this process, this process of clearing yourself and this process of transforming. And right now we're talking to you about energies that are, have been introduced to you to help you pivot. So we don't know. Yes, look, see. Guys, listen, whenever I'm like, am I pulling this out of nowhere? That, then I get cards that it's like, no, you're not. You know what you're talking about. Look, eternal now card in the reverse. That's right. It's not now. <laughs> okay. But it's getting there. And not to give like a lot of you like hope, like, oh my God. So that terrible person that I've been with that had just left my life. I look at this. <laughs> Orbs of light. Yeah. That's in the reverse. If you had a terrible person in your life, it's not them. Okay. I just want you to know. But I know some of you are like, oh, so that terrible person who's in my life, he, who says he's trying to change or she's trying to change or whatever, that they could have a major turnaround and that that could be them. Again, I, I'm just, I, look, see, look at the past card in the reverse again. See, for a lot of you, it is not this person, right? Let me see. You want to, you're not going to be. All right. Yeah, they're, ooh, you heard what they said? No, you didn't. They're like, how are you going to phrase your next question? <laughs> I was like, you're not going to be reversed. But then I was going to say, oh, but if it's this other person from the past, then I felt it wanting to turn. <laughs> so again, we'll just honor that. For those of you, again, most of you, it is not that same person. You see how it's not that person coming back. It's not that person from the past. This person did not ascend, right? So please, please, please do not assume that your person is coming back unless you get a personal reading. You don't have to get one from me, God bless, but if you do, it comes with a free hug. Yeah. But please know, don't do that to yourself. Focus on getting clear and letting go, right? But I will show you this because spirit is now turning this over again. They're saying, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for that full color of the rainbow. In fact, look here. See, they, remember I told you the pivot energies that kind of help you to get an idea of what you should be getting, what you deserve. That cycles down. You're going to get at least that positive love and connection and providence in your next step in your next person but you see how all of the rainbow colors aren't entirely there yet right eventually it will be here whoa and there we have an actual rainbow you see <laughs> god is good get it god it's elevated consciousness here and they're saying it's not a, it's not a, a bad note towards anybody in your life it's, it's not to say get rid of that person and this and that and, or to disrespect those people it's just a consciousness thing now i you know a lot of you may actually be teachers you know i've, I've taught for a while you guys know 
Sometimes you're doing qualitative grading, but sometimes it's just the numbers. It's the numbers. It's either the numbers add up to the minimum to pass or they do not. This is one of those situations. They're saying that it's not about, oh, this guy, that, or that girl, this. It's either they have the consciousness that is elevated or they do not. And that's all there is to it. Now, let's talk about that because, oh, I also want to let you guys know this is, this video is going to be in my normal style that I used to do. So it's going to be longer, maybe about 45 minutes. So if you prefer the shorter readings, just go ahead and check out Instagram where I'll keep the shorter readings, but I will do longer readings here because I love them. Anyway, back to this. So yeah, um, as I was saying here, hold on, let me <laughs> reconnect to those energies because I want to make sure I don't lose it. Um, I lost it. Maybe it wasn't that important. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, now you know, longer reading. But hold on, let me see how they want to proceed here. Thank you. Um, you know what they're saying? They're saying here, yeah, it's like I was saying, it's just about the elevation in consciousness. And now let's, yeah, now I remember. Now let's take a look at that elevation in consciousness. See how the energies are coming in? So, because I can still kind of feel that some of you are like, well, can't my person still have that transformation, Jay? Can the person still have that transformation and, you know, meet me over here? And the answer would be, yeah, I mean, maybe, but let's keep it real. Now I'm going to wrap with you guys for just a second. So you guys know I do these readings and yes, there's a lot of stuff about love, blah, blah, blah. But my primary work is in working with light workers, you know, shifting energy, awakening things, bringing downloads in, all of those things. So that's what I do primarily. And so what I'm about to tell you is that, yes, technically we all have a chance to evolve. We all do. But sometimes the chasm is just too great because some of you may actually be dealing with somebody who male, female, gender, non-conforming, doesn't matter, who has deep seated issues that cannot just be fixed just like that to rendezvous with you six months or a year down the line. That would take, it, it's just, you know, people are just different. So then you might say, well, why did we meet up? Well, maybe you guys met up because you were trauma bonding. There was something in your energetic field and you know, your psychological makeup and your, on your behavior as a result of unhealed wounds, your traumas, right? That caused you guys to cling to each other, right? That caused you guys to find a cord. Uh, there's a familiarity there, right? You could have attachment wounds, both of you. He, he or she may be the avoidant type and you're the anxious type. Just one's running after the other and the other's running away, right? And then, the, you know, it, it's, you see what I mean? you know, child issues, low self-worth issues. There are umpteen um, amounts of things that could have attributed to you guys coming together, but it doesn't a long-term connection make. And sometimes people are only meant for a season because they come in to pivot you, to show you what you're worth. You know, yes, best friends from high school, but now this one is a, is a, raving, a raging alcoholic and you just got out of a bad relationship and you're looking, you both are looking to cling to something, right? And so you find each other, but you're just living out your childhood all over again with each other until one of you starts to do the growth. Now let's say you start to do the growth, but this person may be actually a lot further behind because they're just, you know, shadow energies, uh, you know, addictions, all sorts of stuff. And so um, technically people, everybody can evolve. But the question is, are we evolving at the same rate? And does our evolution, uh, will our evolution continue to serve each other? If, they're, if it's continuing to serve you, each other, you guys are continuing to serve each other in your evolution, then, you know, there's a higher chance. But it's going to eventually get to a point where um, there will be tests of character and, and faith and merit that will determine whether or not you guys can both evolve 
in alignment with each other or whether you'll have to go and do so separately with others um, and, and that separation process can be very 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 hard trust me been there okay <laughs> and I and I, I feel that because you know, a lot of these readers, the readers who give these these readings, they've been there. That's why they hold that vibrational pattern to be able to then talk about it later. As much as I make light of it, it is not easy, right? But if we don't have our humor, then what do we have, right? And so I would say that you just have to trust spirit when they're moving you and when they say you what you have is going to be amazing. And in fact, I'm seeing a treasure chest. It's like this big, cute, eh? <laughs> open it right there's a treasure chest there you're going to get a treasure if this reading is for you i feel that you're most likely the viewer you the viewer most likely this person who's cycling out here you're going to come straight into treasure oh could even be this thing remember like i told you like something comes in for you um but it's going to be introduced by someone else so you can't take credit you 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 got used to winning you're winning a lot and then you think it's me i did it but it's introduced right whatever it is it's going to be tantamount to treasure but i'll tell you what the more that you keep holding on to that old treasure box that you had before that you looked inside and you realized there's not really any treasure in there right the more you keep holding on to it you cannot pick up this new thing so you determine how long you stay in this liminal stage so to speak hold on let me take a sip here guys So um, Spirit is bringing us back around to that question earlier very quickly. Um, so, uh, whew, so can my person move lightning fast? Can they, can they do the work in this downtime? Because remember, I do feel that you guys are in this Four of Swords energy. Four of Swords in the Tarot is about taking time out. It's about resting. And we see that here in this reassurance of the golden light where Spirit it has you sequestered. And they're like, just rest, rest. Let us take care of you. But the hope is like, well, can this person do their work and rendezvous with me? And my short answer is I'm not sure, okay? It really depends on quite a few um, uh, things, such as your soul contract with this person, such as their willingness, Spirit is touching on that, their willingness to do the work. Not everybody is willing to look into their traumas of the past. Gosh, not everybody is even willing to say I was wrong. Gosh, not everybody is even willing to say I hurt you and I was out of character and I was inauthentic. I mean, these are things that you really have to have willingness. And in fact, if you will direct your attention, look at the card that allows you to go here. That's the will card, spiritual decree. So you, my dear, have already expressed a willingness, enough willingness on some level of your energetic field in order to have this new beginning now please know that just because on the ground in the physical you may not feel as willing in fact you may be kicking and screaming as i've often been it doesn't mean that a higher part of you has not made the decision and so part of me kind of wants to cry a little bit when i say that because it's almost like us it's such a feeling of gratitude like thank you somebody up there myself somebody up there in the lighthouse that is me is 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 of sound mind and body to make a decision that is the best for all of us all of us meaning all of me <laughs> we have different parts right because excuse me sometimes we're just not there we're too in it and if we follow what is the path of least resistance sometimes which sometimes is like staying with something that is just not good for you right which actually is not the past path of least resistance it's filled with resistance <laughs> but for us it feels easier because there's familiarity and there's conditioning and there are cycles and patterns and pathologies right but if we leave it up to us sometimes we'll never see our way out so if, you, if this sounds like you and your story then just take a moment and say thank you higher self Thank you for stepping in. For somebody here, I feel like your grandparents or a grandparent, most likely on the mother's side, but um, need not be uh, stepped in as well to help unwind you, okay, from whatever this person, place, thing, or situation is or was, okay? 
Uh, somebody here is turning their pain into, um, I got a few words, palette, PowerPoint, and um, presentation, right? Um, so either way, what I'm feeling is that somebody here is turning their pain into creativity. So you may actually have started a website related to um, art and creativity, your own art even, um, but you need not, but you know, not everybody obviously, but um, that's a really great way to channel your heart. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, they said channel your heart through your art, right? And we all know art has the ability to move us. And so sometimes art speaks to us because of the level of brokenness that is reflected in it. Because whenever we do our, we create art, it has no choice but to take our impressions, known or unknown to us, along with it. And so whatever you're going through, it's going to speak to people. So Spirit is saying, yes, let it out through your art. And don't be afraid that you're um, putting out ill will or these bad thoughts or whatever, because sometimes these things that Spirit is saying, oh my gosh, it makes me want to cry. Sometimes these things are fisher's nets. So all those people who are vibing so low, they're in that air energy of bitterness and 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 fear and anger and I'm getting the words loathing and anguish and all of that they're not gonna be wanting to watch uh, cute little happy paintings right no sometimes they're just drawn to art that reflects their mood but guess what as long as there's that connection spirit has a way in is what they're saying um, so maybe that person will start to vibe with your art. They're going to look you up. They're going to understand more about you. And little by little, you're going to, as you heal, you're going to condition the energetic stream or condition the water. Let's put it that way, right? The energetic stream that is contained within the artworks that you create. And they're saying what's really interesting is that the artwork is not, it's living and breathing just like you. And it's an extension of you. And so... Um, they're opening this up to everybody as well because it's not just for art it's anything that you produce with your hands or your intentions right it's living and breathing and so as you change there's an aspect of these things that change as well and they're saying that's why the work that we do today <laughs> they're so fun always bringing it back around <laughs> that's why the work that we do today on ourselves and our spirits are our, 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 our um, health and our mental health energetic health has oh they're saying so much benefit for our descendants, not just our kids, right? But the people in our bloodline heading, um, heading forward and of course backward. It, 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 just, it helps everybody. It's along the stream. So anything you introduce into the stream is going to be helpful for everybody. And so spirit, you know, I just looked at the time, 37 minutes, 37 seconds right that's 10 10 speak it spirit right and so spirit is always concerned yeah with um with these things anything that we do has application they're saying and much further reaching than we expect and that than we give uh credit to and so my dears they're saying uh, they're so funny they're like wrap it up <laughs> okay i wrap up i wrap up <laughs> No, but anything that they they do is um, anything that we do is 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 for the benefit of others. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's um, quickly summarize. In fact, I said I wanted to use these cards. These are my babies here. I haven't used these in a while. These were the first decks that I got when I first started my business. Whoops. Let's say over. <laughs> yeah, and now I have like almost 50 whoops wow okay stop <laughs> but look they're beautiful but they're so slippery let's just um go ahead um okay <laughs> okay justice card that's what i'm saying Ah, king of wands yes you know there's a card over there king of wands that's staring me in the face but i didn't feel like reaching for it because i have so many decks on top justice so some of you looks like some of you are definitely letting go of something or calling it quits is what i'm getting but i do have to mention again look at how the card is overlapping this same king of wands is overlapping here so king of wands representing that person place thing or situation that you're releasing or have already released uh, justice has 
brought that to an end but for whatever reason for some of you not all of you it's still extending here into the future but again personal reading to find that out okay knight of swords this is your message wow okay so this is a message coming in for you now i do want to talk about why it, it's interesting because it's like why would the knight of swords come in here knight of swords is delivering a message obviously right but there are so many ways to deliver a message but this this energy here that i'm seeing it's giving me this fast moving energy things are moving so fast for you or they're going to be moving fast for you but spirit is saying trust us as much as you feel like things are going crazy we are slowing down time for you so see how we have all the oh let me excuse me let me bring it up a little closer for you guys to see see how we have all these birds flying 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 like eight of wands fast moving energy and communication this is giving me this dizzying feeling like you must be feeling like wow a lot of things are going on around me but you see the knight of knight of swords which is one of the fastest moving knights in the deck I feel like it is the fastest one actually look how slow they're like it's like they're running fast and then they slow down just slow enough to give you that look before getting back off again right flying faster than these birds right and so these eight the angels these angels are coming in to let you know trust us we've got you and they're reminding you time out now interesting that they said time out because i'm now i'm starting to get this idea that some of you may be still reaching out to this person no means no <laughs> okay if you whoever this person place thing or situation is if it's a job that is just not good for you and yet you keep taking the contract work stop if it's a person that you just can't quite pull away or just whatever just let it go it's fair to saying let it all go they've got you and please know that you're just going through a bit of a timeout right now that's going to help you in your transformation and that they're controlling the timing of everything the last card on the deck here is the strength card at the bottom right which is beautiful now they're also saying it's beautiful because um i just checked the time it's like 41 minutes and 44 seconds 41 comes to five and they're giving me this idea that you with all of your conflict and your turmoil you're working together with spirit with that 44 that eight right that that angelic energy so this is about co-creation at its finest them working with you you working with them you surrendering you allowing yourself to release you allowing the rest time to come in you holding on to the strength and holding yourself and honoring yourself you know holding your center and letting them help you to slay this beast that is inside because i will tell you this no matter what person you let go of what job it was what situation what 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 for somebody here it's about you keep going back to visit the family even though you know you don't feel safe or, or good around the family whatever this is the situation you've got to stop and you have to realize that it's not the person it's not the job it's not the situation it's none of these things it is the energetic template the toxic energetic energy that is being cleared and spirit has been working with you on that and once that is completely cleared out it's cleared out to a large degree these things can no longer hold on to you so please at least for right now because it does feel like i'm feeling like a lot of you are struggling to release this person or this thing all right and so they're saying please just let it go for right now so they can do the work and then if we need to if we need to double back around we will if that's your person they're not going anywhere right is but it, i'll tell you it, whatever you're walking into later once you let things go is going to be amazing and if it is that person who knows maybe that person was, was great but you guys had a lot of stuff in your background unhealed family wounds all sorts of stuff that just were getting in the way once you clear that out it's like it's like gravy <laughs> right <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and end this now guys if you would like to have a personal reading with me please do feel free to reach out and um until then have a blessed day and thank you so much to our angels and guides for helping us thanks guys bye